Sing with all the saints in glory, sing the resurrection song. Earth and sorrow, words dark story, to the former age belong. All around the clouds are breaking, soon the storms of time shall cease. In his likeness we awaken, knowing everlasting peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate in these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the Lamb of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you lead us to the glory of heaven. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the crown of your martyrs. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May the Lord forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, you bestowed the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin Saint Maria Goretti, in her youth. <coughs> Grant, we pray, through her intercession, that as you have gave her a crown for her steadfastness, so we too may be firm in obeying your commandments. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the body is not for immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord is for the body. God raised the Lord and will also raise us by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Whoever is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Avoid immorality. Every other sin in a person commits is outside the body. But the immoral person sins against his whole body. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you have been purchased by a price. Therefore glorify God in your body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your namesake, you lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant and save me in your kindness. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is the man who perseveres, perseveres in temptation, for when he, has been, when he has been provided, he will receive the crown of life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, 
it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in the world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We live in a very sexually charged world. There's not a place where you can go where sexuality isn't being presented as the ultimate good. Very seldom do you hear anything positive about those who choose to remain chaste or those who choose innocence. And today the church uplifts for us a martyr, an innocent, a virgin, Saint Maria Goretti. Saint Maria Goretti lived in a time in the 1890s. Really wasn't all that long ago. She was born into a very impoverished family, and her father died when she was very young. Her mother lived on a farm and oftentimes would hire hands to help her with her work on the farm. And there were two brothers who lived next door who would work on the farm. And one of them had this attraction to St. Maria Goretti. And she was extremely young. You listen to what St. Paul tells the Corinthians today. Do, not know, do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? The body is not for immorality, but it is for the Lord. And so one of these men had this attraction to her, and he tried to make sexual advances on her. And even though she was very young, Maria Goretti was able to stop him. But of course, he became angry. And of course, he stabbed her multiple, multiple times. But one of the things that Maria Goretti said right before she died the next day is that she forgave her attacker. I forgive him. I want him to be in heaven. And of course, many will say that that is just childlike talk. And yet we see a person who valued her innocence. And perhaps it was that innocence that allowed her to offer forgiveness to her murderer. And so, Saint, so Pope Pius XII lifted her to sainthood, a martyr, because she died for upholding her faith. It was a beautiful day in Rome when Maria Goretti became a saint. Her mother was able to witness this wonderful event. And so today, may through the intercession of St. Maria Goretti, the world once again return to innocence, once again to reject the sexually charged nature that we have, and to remember what St. Paul tells us, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit? And that we have been purchased with a price, the price of the blood of Jesus. Let us follow in his footsteps and through the intercession of Saint Maria Goretti return to that time of innocence and once again realize that we were not created for immorality. Let us place our needs before God. We pray for the church throughout the world that she may call the world to conversion, to innocence, to purity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world leaders that they will lead us to the common good, establish peace and justice throughout the globe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray for our nation, that we may be a people who are dedicated to human life. From the moment of conception until natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and the suffering, the lonely, the oppressed, those who are fearful and anxious. May they know the healing touch of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are victims of sexual abuse. We pray that the Lord may grant them peace and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they be welcomed into the glory of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all of your needs and intentions that we bring to the altar today in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love and mercy, hear these our prayers. Grant them that they are your will. For they are made in the name of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise, the glory of his name, for our good, the good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of blessed Maria Goretti win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray. Just as the struggle of her suffering and passion were pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Maria Goretti, poured out by Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the, mem the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a wave of God's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Lamb who is at the center of the throne will lead them to the springs of the waters of life. Let us pray in the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament, and I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. 
O God, who bestowed and blessed Maria Goretti a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, that through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every trial, we may obtain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I forgot to tell you one story. The, com com the concluding story of Maria Goretti is that her attacker, her murderer, said that when he was serving his prison sentence, that she appeared to him and told him that she forgave him. And it caused within him a spiritual conversion. It caused him to then realize his sinful ways and then to have conversion of heart. And he eventually became a lay Franciscan brother. And so we see that even in the darkness of this world, that with the power of God, all things are possible. That conversion is possible. Forgiveness is possible. Pope Francis Cardinal George used to always say to us, he would say that we live in a society that everything is permissible. Everything is acceptable. Except when you're caught. And once you're caught, it's never forgivable. And I think that's the society that we live in today, that people cannot accept conversion. But if you are a follower of Jesus Christ, we must believe that people can change, that we can be forgiven, and we can continue to live in the grace of our Savior. May the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For all the saints who from their labors rest, all who by faith be for the world confessed, your name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Alleluia, alleluia. You were their rock, their fortress, and their might. You, Lord, their captain in the well-fought fight. You, in the darkness, drear their one true light. Alleluia, Alleluia.